This video provides a quick overview of the new features and tools in version 1.12. There is a 40-minute long comprehensive overview too. Both videos focus specifically on what's new in this version only, rather than covering all there is to machine tools, which includes a wide range of tools and menus to streamline your Blender workflow, at least if you activate them all. So let's speed through the latest additions to this feature update, the 36th since its initial release seven years ago by the way. This update is also the first paid update now, as my revenue unfortunately continues to decline, and so I can no longer invest the time I used to spend on developing these add-ons if it doesn't pay my bills anymore, hence why free feature updates are history. For now. For what it's worth, I've spent over two months full-time, seven days a week on this update alone. Assembly asset creation now supports severely hidden objects, which are those in excluded or hidden collections. You can also keep decal backups and mesh machine stash objects now, which will persist after disassembly or when editing assemblies. Furthermore, you can now optionally skip duplication and use the original objects for the assembly. Any changes made to them now will be reflected within all assemblies accordingly. You can also create assembly assets for only parts of a hierarchy of objects now. Furthermore, it's now possible to assign tags and metadata at the time of asset creation. Metadata is set up in the add-on preferences, as it's most likely to repeat from one to the next asset. Last but not least, Deus Ex now offers full control over the thumbnail framing via a thumbnail helper gizmo. This overrides an object's bounding box and uses the gizmo to determine how the thumbnail is cropped. In Deus Ex, you can also directly edit existing assemblies or any other instance collection now. Going in and out of assembly edit mode, machine tools will ensure that the view and the cursor persist, remaining perfectly positioned and oriented relative to the assembly, which is super useful. Changing the assembly origin is now done relative to the assembly itself. While the previous behavior can still be used via shift mod key or the redo panel, you can also reset the origin now, which not only zeroes out the instance collection offset, but also compensates the objects inside, effectively making the assembly origin the world origin within the collection. Deus Ex now also supports changing the assembly or instance collection origin's rotation, which is otherwise not possible in Blender. Finally, changing the assembly origin or resetting it can now be done directly from the cursor and origin Pi 2. Deus Ex now supports creating assembly variants, which in turn allow you to make adjustments and changes to specific assemblies without affecting all others. Deus Ex also allows you to turn any assembly or instance collection into an asset, with proper thumbnail and optionally directly with tags and metadata too. For easy and efficient storage of assets in your library, there is now the Clean Out Non-Assets tool, which ensures only assets and any related data and any fake user IDs are kept in a blend file. Group relationships can now be drawn either manually or, likely more conveniently, automatically when going into group origin adjustment mode or outliner group mode. Speaking of group mode, it has been improved and can now be customized and will by default disable group auto select, group recursive select, and ensure group empties are visible. This simplifies changing the group hierarchy when dragging group empties in the outliner. Exiting group mode, will then return the outliner and group settings to the exact state they've been in when entering group mode. There's also a parenting button in the outliner header now to visually indicate if parenting is actually shown or not. Group auto naming has been improved and will now ensure Blender added index suffixes on group names are always moved within the object name and before the group suffix if one is set up in the add-on preferences. This is important for helping group mode filter out non-group empties in the outliner. The Select Group tool will now bring group objects into local view when they are outside. While in local view, it will also ignore the recursive select setting and instead require the control mod key to force a recursive selection. Select hierarchy has been completely revamped and now supports severely hidden objects. So objects in either excluded or hidden collections, the modal HUD and redo panel give you a better indication now if there are any remaining unselected children or parents and will tell you exactly what to do in order to reveal and select them all. The extrude tools now expose the Blender native extrude menu key map in the add-on preferences, so there should be no doubt anymore about how to access the cursor spin and punch it tools now, I hope. Actually, I did a last minute change to also include both the cursor spin and punch it tools in the control F face context menu now. SmartVert will now merge UVs in merge last and merge center modes. However, for now, this option is only available in vert mode, not in edge mode. SmartFace introduces a topo mode that allows you to move the corner vertex before proceeding to the next selection 
and next tool invocation. Topo mode can optionally trigger only when the retopology overlay is enabled, or only when face snapping is enabled. The Apply Transformations tool now supports compensating Displace, Solidify, Weld, and Array mods, in addition to Bevel mods, which it did before already. It's also directly exposed in the native Control A Apply menu now, with direct buttons for rotation, scale, or both. The Material Picker can now pick materials through wire objects. And the Thread tool informs you when your selection is incorrect now. The Modes Pie now replaces the Edit Mode button on the top, with a Sculpt button for mesh objects, although you can revert to legacy behavior in the add-on preferences. You can optionally even put both buttons at the top, but won't be able to swipe anymore in that case. Many group tools and settings have been moved to the Modes Pie as well. Beyond grouping, ungrouping, and group select buttons at the top, all optional, by the way, when a group empty is active, you can now also find group selection behavior, group origin adjustment, group naming, and empty sizing, and in Deus Ex, even group poses and group gizmo setup and properties in the Pi. For regular empties, the display type and size are exposed, and for image empties, some image-related options. With Asset Browser tools enabled, and with an Assembly Empty active, you will find the Assembly variant and Turn Assembly into Asset tools in the Pi too, at least in Deus Ex. Also, the Edit Assembly and Finish Assembly Edit Mode buttons at the bottom or top, both optional. Furthermore, in Sculpt Mode, the Pi now exposes Symmetrize, Dintopo, and Remesh options too. Last but not least, with a Linked Object active, you can now selectively reload only its library from the Modes Pi instead of all libraries in the entire blend file from the save pie. The save pie now directly indicates if there are unsaved changes in the file with a star sign in the save buttons. With FBX export enabled, it also exposes the apply all scale preference, which is useful for Unity, but not for Unreal Engine. And if you export to both, it's useful to have the toggle here, instead of just in the add-on preferences. Finally, in the image and UV editors, the pie now exposes image-related tools and options at the top, instead of the file-based ones. The Snapping Pie adds a new preset for face nearest snapping. Simply hit the Surface button again to alternate between the two face snapping presets. Also, the Fading HUD can now be optionally disabled in the add-on preferences. You can also customize the Snap preset targets now in the add-on prefs and change them to your liking. The Shading Pie now exposes the Retopology overlay. Also, for recursive shading operations, the Shade Flat and Shade Smooth tools now support severely hidden objects too so objects that are in excluded or hidden collections only.